This is a short video on how to create RSS feeds in Zotero. So first of all, what are RSS feeds? RSS feeds are a simple way for you to stay up to date on the content that is coming out of a certain website that you're interested in. Um, and there are RSS feeds for different blogs or um, news websites, um, but also for journal articles. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So you should already have uh, Zotero, um, and I'll show you how to add RSS feeds to your Zotero. So I'm going to share my screen. So you should be able to see um, my Zotero over here. And I already have a bunch of RSS feeds, but we are going to pretend that I don't. And so what I would do is, let's say I wanted to get the RSS feed for the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, JPSP. Um, so I would Google it and then click on the link. And once you're on the main page, you can usually find a link somewhere um, to an RSS feed. It'll usually have this little symbol and uh, say something like subscribe to the RSS feed. So you click on that. And this over here is the link to the feed. So we're going to copy that and then go back to Zotero. And then here, click under new library, new feed from URL, paste in, and then um, I would just take out this part that tells you what volume we're at and just gives you a nice um, name and you can edit it if you want. And then you can also edit the options for how often you want the feed to update, um, when you want to remove feed items that you've read or feed items that you haven't read. Uh, and so I'll just change this to 60 days because I don't know if um, 30 days is gonna be enough time. And then I'm going to save. And you can see it just created another one because I already had one. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. But yeah, so if you want to delete it, you can just press on the um, right click and then uns unsubscribe from feed. Um, and that's pretty much it. Sometimes uh, you might have some trouble finding the RSS feed for certain journals. But um, if you search for it on the main page, you'll usually be able to find it. Um, and if not, you can always contact them and ask for it. Um, all right, thanks for watching.